So I start the recording for sure. the Chaos Diversity and Inclusion Working Group meeting on April 1st, 2019. Welcome everyone. I just shared the link to our Google Doc with meeting minutes and agenda in the chat. So feel free to follow along and please do help keep uh, the minutes. Mm. Is there anything on the agenda or not on the agenda that you would like to talk about or that we should prioritize before you have to drop off the call? Uh, maybe for me, it would be the community bridge stuff, but I don't think the right people are here to have that conversation or enough of the right people are here. Yeah. I agree with that. Don is here. Welcome, Don. Hey there. Sorry, I'm late. My last meeting ran a bit over. No problem. Hey, Don. We just started. Cool. Here, the meeting minutes, I put them in the chat so you can find them. We we're just discussing agenda items seeing if anyone wants to add something to the agenda or prioritize something before they have to drop off. Did we, sorry, I missed the last meeting. Have we talked about um, submissions for the Open Source Summit in North America? Because I think those are due today. We have not talked about it. There is an email thread that Sarah um, had started. I added it to our agenda to talk about it. Cool. <clears throat> I did submit one, but it was like generic chaos one, you know, like the whole project. Yeah, I submitted one on building a metric strategy, which is the talk that I gave at uh, Boston. Mm -hmm. Okay. I submitted that one and a, a more of a collaboration leadership kind of to-do group talk. Okay, gotcha. The value working group also submitted a talk for a birth of feather. Cool. Well, since you're already in the topic, we can start right there. On the mailing list, um, I don't think we came to a conclusion on what we wanted to submit. Um, we had discussed not doing the same panel that we just did at the Leadership Summit. And we, we already did a tutorial in Edinburgh. So I maybe we can do a more normal presentation I like the format that Nicole and Sarah had where they played ping pong going back and forth when they presented in Emma's bed at the leadership summit. But that's just one idea. Um, and then also topic wise, what to submit is another open question to this point. I like the idea of a regular conversation or a regular presentation, if that's yeah. what you're aiming at. Yeah, I think DNI has evolved to the point where that would be helpful for the community, actually. I agree. Yeah, we just need someone who can put that talk description together and submit it today. Yeah, I think, I can, isn't the deadline today or is it tomorrow? I think it's today. Tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Oh, no it's tomorrow. Time, no time like the present. They're yeah, short exactly. at least. But I have no time to work on it. I'm, I'm actually working out of our New York office and I have meetings all day and then I'm taking a train to Philadelphia for another conference. Oh, Philadelphia, great city, great, great food. I think we talked about this actually. <laughs> it's a great food put city. Together the description for the talk. For me, the question is what should be um, put in the talk? Is it going to be presenting about the metrics? Um, are we going to talk about the 
implementations we have so far? Um, I think the process is, I mean, as a, you know, sort of standing in the shadows person for DNI, the, the, the processes that you've characterized for getting data from conferences and other venues would be helpful for the community. I think that's, that's something that people don't do routinely or necessarily know where to start with. I don't know what you think, Don. If, tell me if I'm talking out my butt here. <laughs> no, I think that would be, I think that would be useful. I think maybe we could, um, you know, we are at the point where we have a lot of the metrics defined. We could, um, we could pick some of them and and kind of and talk about a variety of the metrics and how you would gather them and give people some some pointers that way. And then, and then maybe we could we could also talk at least briefly about some of the um, some of the work that's been done. So we would have, you know, we already have the examples from from OpenStack, but by that time we might have, we might have other examples of people who use some of the DNI metrics that we could, we could talk about a couple of, a couple of examples. I mean, that might be how I would structure it. Like first, the first half of it is, or three quarters of it even are examples of metrics and how to, how to gather them, like how to build, I guess, I guess maybe I would pitch it maybe as how to build a DNI report for your for your open source project might be might be a good way to do it because we could talk about we could talk about the metrics in the context of putting them into into a report how would you measure them how would you report on them and then we would have a couple of examples of reports from OpenStack and maybe something else that might be that might be a way to tie those two things together because we talked about doing that but we didn't really have a lot of the metrics defined before but maybe now we're in a position where we could do that I mean, does that sound like a reasonable approach to other people? I, I, I think it would be helpful. Yeah, I think, um, so are you kind of suggesting both, like the processes and then showing successful implementations? Was that what I heard? You're muted, Don. I'm muted. Um, if we pitch it as how to build a DNI report, then the, the first like three quarters of it would be more on the process side and more on the metric side. And then, um, but it's nice to have a couple of examples towards the end, even if you don't spend a ton of time talking about them. But you know, here's, here's how it was done for OpenStack and here's a link to that report. Yep. And here's how we did it for whatever else. Yep, no, I think that's a good idea for how Mozilla is deploying them. <clears throat> um, and the presentations I think are 40 minutes, four zero. So that's plenty of time, to be honest. Okay, I'll put yeah, you actually, together. They actually feel quite long when you're presenting them. It's, it's either yeah. 40 or 50 minutes. I think sometimes they're 50 minutes. Yeah, 40 minutes is a long time to talk. <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay, I'll put together the description and circulate it. And then I'll take it on to submit before the deadline tomorrow. That concludes talking about the Open Source Summit North America submission. Um, we can go through the action items real quick. Um, first, Sarah is sent out a draft of the Hyperledger meeting minutes to those who were there and should be sending them out soon, I think. Then Nicole wanted to reach out. I no, I don't know what happened there. I wanted to send out an email to the main list about the requirements for becoming a pilot project. And I did that from that Emma put together a suggestion, a suggested format, which is another topic that we will discuss later. 
Nicole and I wanted to put together a blog post. And we started on that. Someone joined. Hi. Hi, Georg. It's Nicole. Sorry, I had trouble joining for some reason um, online this morning. Okay, welcome. Glad you could join us at least via Zoom. Thank you. Uh, we are just going through the action items, and I'm on one that concerns you and me. That's co-authoring a blog post about oh, how yes. chaos is developing the metrics. Yeah, um, I need to take a look at that. Yeah, so we have uh, a draft outline, and Nicole and I still need to finalize that and then write it up. So we start the draft. Nicole, did you have uh, a chance to reach out to see if Microsoft.net contact would like to join the DNI working group? I have not, but it is on my list for this week. Okay. Uh, Sarah wanted to reach out to Paris about KubeCon session. Nicole, you wanted to reach out to Chase about a KubeCon session? Yeah, I'm behind on a couple of things, so I will um, do that this week as well. Okay, no problem. Daniel is not here. He wanted to reach out to Silona. I wanted to send an email to the mailing list about releasing metrics. I forgot, did I do that or not? Did anyone see an email from me? I haven't been heavy on email this morning. Okay, it would have been last week. I was waiting for the, for the meeting minutes from the governing board meeting. I'll investigate, see if I send it out. If not, I'll make sure to do it. If I already have, I will send it out again. And Nicole, you wanted to submit a pull request with the new readme file, and you did. Looks really great. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> I, I, I got that done. Yes. I'm trying to look up the pull request number right oh. now, so I can put in the meeting minutes. It was 172. I got board meeting minutes from you a little more than a week ago, but I'm not seeing anything about the, the metrics release. Yep, okay, I will do that. I will follow up with that. Then I would like to talk about pull request 169, relicensing the repository. Matt, you're on the call and you have contributed to this repository. If you could comment on the pull request that you are okay with changing the license, that would be great. So far we have everyone, all the regular contributors um, signed up on this change. We have two um, Akshitak8 and UTPH who contributed to our readme and contributing doc who have not responded to our call yet and code of conduct. Who was the other one? Um, the UT, UTH one, but um, the other one? AKSHITAC8. She put together the contributing markdown for our working group. Yeah. So we we probably need an okay from from her for sure, since that's a pretty significant change. Um, we can actually, uh, I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but usually the type of changes that UTH, whatever it was, made were um, uh, spacing underscores 
So those are typically considered trivial changes and we wouldn't necessarily, I don't think, have to get the okay from her because those weren't of any sort of substantial nature, whereas contributing an entire document would be. Yeah. So she was an outreachy student working with Emma. So maybe Emma can get a hold of her somehow. Would it be an issue to accept the pull request and then um, when we get her consent, it's all good. If not, then we'll have to remove her contribution and move forward. I would just like to move forward with this because as we are delaying this, uh, any new contribution is still made under the GPL license, not the MIT license. So I would really like to move forward. I, I would go ahead with the change. I think I think there's a minimal minimal risk of any issues. Yeah. And like you said, just del delaying it, all that does is make it harder for us if people submit new new contributions. Okay. Then I, I'm going to post the decision to the mailing list since we make decisions final on the mailing list with the deadline by the end of this week and then accept this. Um, then we have an issue uh, 170 for requiring a DCO uh, sign off on all new commits. The other working groups have it mostly implemented. I think metrics in common are the ones who don't have it yet and we don't have it yet. Remote Lab just activated yesterday. So I think it's time that we just start doing it. Mm -hmm. And We've been educating everyone long enough about this that it should be no surprise. And yeah, at least I feel confident activating the DCO bot. Any comments? Seems reasonable to me. Okay. I will also post that to the mailing list to make sure everyone knows it's now active. Well, once I send out the email. I now had um, the agenda to work on the mentorship metric, but we can also talk about community bridge real quick um, because I know Matt has to uh, leave soon. The community bridge was announced at the community leadership summit and we had an upfront demonstration um, Sarah set it up with the developers of the community bridge and they now pinged us saying that they're ready to add chaos as a um, as a project on the community bridge which is a platform for um, securing funding um, crowdfunding and also for mentorship 
which are the two features that are, I think are interesting for the DNI working group. And Matt had volunteered at the governing board meeting to look into this and set up the account and send out uh, questions that we now need to answer in this application process. Matt, did I get the status correctly? Maybe Matt is left. There he's on mute. Yeah. I know he has to teach soon and has to drop off soon. So maybe busy. The, um, Don, were you on that email chain? Possibly. I have not looked at my personal email um, in a week. Between being sick and then traveling, I'm hopelessly behind. So I have no idea. Which okay. is terrible. Sorry. Yeah. I, I know Nicole was on that chain and I forgot who else and Sarah. Um, so maybe we put that off until we get um, more input from our regular core contributors. Okay. The next item on the agenda is 100, the issue 120, the mentorship metric. I'm gonna put the link also in the chat. And Sarah had started working on this two weeks ago again, and Daniel and I worked on it last week. And I put it on the agenda so that we can have a little working session. We did this a while ago where we review and edit this here on the call to get it into a state where we can then create a pull request and move this forward. An issue Daniel identified last week is that some of the content, especially with sample strategies in section three, pertain to how to set up a good mentorship program and are not so much about measuring the mentorship program. So okay. One of the discussions we can have is whether to, um, to include best practice for mentorship programs or to focus only on the metrics. Is that something everyone on the call is willing to go through the mentorship metric? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Did everyone find the document all right? Yep. I'm in um I'm in the issue. Okay. And then from the issue, there's a link to the Google Doc. Oh, got it. Okay. Okay, now I see more anonymous animals joining. Yeah. A sheep and a wolf. Thank goodness for Google. Awesome. So I propose we're gonna spend five minutes going through individually, making comments 
editing, and then um, if there's something we need to discuss, we can discuss here on the call. And we can mute for five minutes. All in favor, any objections? That sounds good, Georg. Um, do you just want us to add just in line? I, I mean, I'm noticing there isn't a track changes. You just want us to add things? Yes, I think just, if you're not sure you can <coughs> wait tracking changes, but I'm okay with just editing right away. Okay.
Okay, this is the one minute mark, one minute to go. Is anyone still wanting to do any last edits? Should we wait or start the discussion? Sounds like everyone is ready. So one of the one of the things that I came across is that at the top, the question, there are multiple questions we can ask. And we have right now for each metric, only one question. Because we wanted to have a direct connection between the questions and the metrics that answer those questions. By adding a second question, which I post the question here, we lose this direct connection, but we also show a much broader potential application of using metrics about mentorship. So, so what, what is your take? Should we have more than one question? Should we narrow it down to one question? Should we have a different page for each question? There are multiple ways we can move forward here. I sort of think the first question is actually a subset of the second question. Because how effective are our mentorship programs? At, and I added at increasing diversity and inclusion in our project, just to be clear that that's, that's the part we're focused on um, in this work group. And it seems like the breadth of the programs, I don't know that, that does that matter if if our programs are effective. So if our if we had a mentorship program that only had one thing, but that one thing was super effective at increasing diversity and inclusion, would that be okay? Would we need to have a breadth? I mean, I don't know. I'm just posing more questions. I, I agree with you. Just having more of something doesn't lead to the goal that we have, which is more diverse and inclusive project. Yeah, I, I agree too. It's almost the um, quality over qu quantity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Is there value in having a set of different questions here or should we narrow it to only one question like we have in the past? I, I don't know if this answers the question directly, but I really like the second question because when I looked at the first question before the second question was even added, I, I was kind of grappling with what do we mean by breadth. Um, I, I think that by going with the second question, it, it helps us to be more direct. Okay, then I propose to just get rid of the first one and keep only the new question.
The next couple comments we have are from Sarah, and I added them. I don't know if anyone has an opinion about keeping them or for Sarah to review or getting rid of them. I think I added a little bit to one and two. Um, yeah, to one and, and also to two. Yeah. So I think we can get rid of Sarah's comments and if they're still open, she'll raise them again. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like the second and third bullets really get at what she was pointing out. Yeah. Okay. Then we're in section three with sample strategies. Daniel had pointed out that the first set of strategies that were there initially um, were about <coughs> running a mentorship program. And so I, I think there are so many good resources out there for how to do good mentorship that we can focus solely on the metrics part. <coughs> so I propose to just get rid of this. Yes. <coughs> yeah, okay. I agree. I mean, it's duplicative and we're not really adding any value there. Awesome. Thank you. And then I'm just going to resolve my comments. Awesome. Thank you very much for editing. Last chance for commenting or saying something about the mentorship metric. This is really good. Thanks for pulling all this together. Yeah, this is great. Awesome. Then I volunteer to create a pull request to add the mentorship metric to our repository. On the mailing list, we started, so I'm going to the next item. Um, on the mailing list, we had discussed um, requirements for becoming a project that pilots DNI metrics. And Emma was, was uh, good enough to put together a proposal where she says we can package the metric work and have a defined scope of these pilots. And she put together a sample for leadership metrics. And it's in the meeting minutes and I put it in the chat. I opened up the, the discussion to see what thoughts you have? Oh, I feel like some of this still needs a little more work. I mean, we don't 
we're still debating like the ethical standards in the introduction. The, I think that's still being debated on the on the mailing list. Um, and I'm not sure about some of the requirements, like the requirement that people be compensated in some way. <coughs> I mean, that seems like that might be hard to do for, you know, smaller projects. Well, I know um, free compensation that uh, not on Hyperledger that we've given out in the past is LinkedIn endorsements, right? Those are free. Um, uh, you know, helping them, uh, helping whoever it is that gets through this, uh, you know, promoting them and making sure that, uh, you know, their, their experience is you know, rewarded in that way, as opposed to you know, stickers or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, rewarded is different than compensated. And I think what you just described is rewarded. So maybe that's a, maybe that's a wording issue. Um, but I'm not sure what this means. All the people with the diversity experience you are looking to support Um, don't get me wrong. I think this is a great start. My point is, I just think this needs a little bit more, a little bit more work. Some of it seems, uh, yeah, I'm just not quite sure what to do with it. Yeah, Emma did say it's a quick draft. Yeah. I think it's more about the outline, whether maybe we can tweak the, the content, but whether the structure is something that moves us forward. So one of the concerns that I had is this, uh, especially when we go down to the quantum and qualitative part, it's very much about doing the metrics and seems a one-off, um, mm -hmm. one-off uh, just let's create the metrics and see what where we stand. And I was thinking more along the lines of helping projects set up lasting processes where they incorporate it into their special interest groups or whatever structure they have to then start doing metrics on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. How, um, I feel like I'm sorry I know I haven't read my email or been in the last two meetings so I feel sort of guilty even even talking about this but um, is there so my understanding is that this is kind of the requirements for how to pilot the DNI metrics. Is that is that true? Is that what this is designed to do? What's the purpose of this? I guess is what I'm asking. The yes, the conversation was about what is required from a project that wants to pilot the DNI metrics. So then my, my follow-up question would be, um, should we really do this on a kind of a focus area by focus area basis? So this, this one looks like it's just for leadership, the leadership focus area. Um, but it, it seems to me like, do we really need one of these for every single focus area? Or should we put together something that's a little bit more high level that covers kind of the whole, the whole thing? That so in Emma's original reply, she had suggested that um, when we work with projects to pilot the DNI metrics, to not say here is all the metrics we have, pick and choose whatever you want, but that we specialize in saying these are the, the metrics that we have most developed and that we are ready to start piloting. And then to offer like a small package with three metrics, large package with six, and 
extra large with 12 metrics or something or different focus areas well, which i see a few benefits to that because we can then really see across different pilot projects how the metrics are being used and can learn in depth on metrics and don't spread us thin across different metrics My fear would be that if we do this for each of the focus areas that we think is kind of mature enough for for this to work, that it just seems like a lot of, given, given the amount of detail that's in this, it seems like a lot of work and potential duplication of effort with the actual metrics details in the focus areas. Yes, I, I agree that we would want to keep the metric details out of this document. But how are you going to do that if you have like packages of bundles with different different metrics? I, I would do that by saying that if you want to pilot DNI metrics, we can help you with leadership metrics or with event metrics. And in this document, we describe what we expect of the project, what they can expect of us. And then we just link to the metrics that we would be um, piloting. Okay. And I, I would not do this for all of the focus areas. I would just say we focused on a, a certain set of metrics just to get started with. So I, I don't know how to move this forward right now. Any suggestions what to do? I feel like I need to think about it a little more. I, it's my own fault for not, not reading my own email, but. find this I guess I find it a little bit confusing more than more than helpful but that's probably just because I I'm not up to speed okay no that's fair and Georg I'm um I guess I'm finding it a little confusing too because I guess because I'm I'm reading the link above in in Emma's doc and <coughs> I, I guess I wasn't, um, I didn't know that the two were, were related. Um, uh, what was related? Um, the, uh, the, the, the bullet right above says pilot DNI metrics, Emma stock. And there, there's, a, there's a link right above where we are right now. Um, to to uh, to the the Mozilla link in GitHub, and I I I was seeing those as separate for some reason. Um, okay. So, I see. Yeah, I, I I was um yeah for some reason my interpretation was was um, was different. Um, I, I thought that um, w we would be getting to these releases, whether, you know, these periodic releases as metrics of, of the, the entire chaos project. 
and that at a uh, particular point in time with these with this cadence of releases that we would then surface those metrics within the DNI work group that we wanted to release as metrics for that particular release in the overall chaos project. What I wasn't what I wasn't seeing or, or what I wasn't interpreting was that this was somehow related to, um, to Emma's document right above, in, the, in the bullet right above this one. Okay, and, I apologize that the way I moved through the minutes was uh, maybe a little confusing for the agenda. I reorganized it, so I apologize. The, is it related? I I don't think it's is related. The when I when we talk about piloting or when I talk about piloting, I'm talking about having projects starting to use DNI metrics. What you were talking about with the regular chaos releasing metrics and DNI deciding on which metrics to include in a release. That to me is uh, separate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That, yeah. That it is. Okay. So I was interpreting correctly there. Yeah. And the link from Emma is about um, piloting. So other projects and communities using DNI metrics. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for clarifying. Yeah. And so is this discussion in, in this bullet item talking about what would what would be the as we decide which metrics we're working on that we want to uh, include in the releases, in the chaos project releases, um, what the requirements for including um, those metrics are, if that, sorry, that was kind of convoluted. I think I know what you mean. And I'm going to, uh, kick off a discussion on the mailing list about this to okay. say DNI metrics that we deem worthy of releasing should have certain criteria and we can discuss this on the mailing list. Gotcha. That okay. Gives, yeah, that gives everyone a little bit more time to be reflective and think about it and okay. um, we don't have to do it on the spot here on the call. Okay. Yeah. Then moving on to the last item, facilitator and note taker for next time. Who would like to facilitate next week? So I'm actually <clears throat> going to be on vacation next week. <laughs> Awesome. And Don, Don, you're in New York, right? Right now. Don left the call. She had to go to okay. her next meeting. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, so I will be in Washington D.C. next week. Okay. Anyone else who would like to facilitate next week? then I'm happy to do it. And anyone who wants to volunteer for note taking next week, otherwise we'll determine it at the beginning of next week. Awesome. I wrote down to be determined in the meeting minutes. Thank you everyone for joining today. The we have one minute left, so any last thoughts? 
Georg, I did have a thought. The um, the Osna um, submission is closing tomorrow, and I saw that you had covered that earlier in the call. Um, uh, when do you think we'll be um, reviewing that? And I can, let's see. Um, is is that coming out uh, today, or I I can help with that if you'd like. Yes, I'm planning to do this um, later today. Okay. And then okay. I'll send an email to the mailing list to make sure to ping you for sure. And then we okay. have until okay. tomorrow to finish it and submit it. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. Yes, no, thank you. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you for joining us okay. today. Okay, thanks, Georg. Thanks, everyone.